Hi everyone, my name is Lunex. I am a content creator. I make things on Instagram and also I make things on Twitch. So if you want to follow my journey over there, I'll put all my links in the description. But today I want to talk about this amazing productivity app that I've been using four months now. I feel like I've been using it for about four months, almost four months. And it's completely changed the way that I work, completely changed the way that I see, you know, online creation, content creation, and, and how I can best manage my time. So this is my dashboard. So for folks that don't know, this is Notion. Notion is a productivity app and you can do almost anything. So when you first start with Notion, you can either make your own template. So you can literally say anything like, hi, <laughs> I am a person. <laughs> on the internet. I can't even spell person right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, person on the internet. That's my title. And then Notion gives you the opportunity to type anything that you want. So if you use forward slash, here I'll make myself small so you can see what I'm doing. Forward slash, you can do so many things from making a page, to just having basic text, a to-do list, headers, toggle lists. I love a good toggle list. I'll show you my resume, like what I use to build my resume through Notion using one of their free templates. Um, you can put media on here. You can make uh, inline pages. So you can have a big page with very um, different components to it, but all existing on one page. Yes, so think of you know, your digital workspace and what you want it to look like. So before we jump into like the all scratch, you know, starting from scratch, let's go to our basics. My dashboard. This is my dashboard. I'm a very visual person. So I love using cover pages, cover photos, uh, using emojis, colors, just more the merrier, right? For some people, this is cluttered. For me, this is fun. So I have a hope board. So this is basically everything that I love in my life. So I love nature, love the rain. I just love when you can hear rain, like hitting a glass and you're like inside and you just hear that you're just like, ugh, just living my best life. Also, I'm a lifelong learner. So like I'm trying to go back to grad school. So trying to manifest, <laughs> try to manifest that uh, grad school life. Um, I really just want to be happy, right? Like I just, I want to find purpose. I want to be happy and I'm creating my own happiness. Also, you'll see a lot of different quotes, uh, a lot of different rainbows. I am queer. <laughs> my name is Lunix. I use they, them pronouns. I'm non-binary. Um, and I just love, I just love that I can wake up every day and I might have a shitty day, but hey, I can look at these things and I can be like, you know what? This will be my life soon. It's okay. I'm gonna not sweat the small things. You know what I mean? So this can be however complicated, however um, busy you want this to be. I made it very simple. I love very simple things. I don't like to make things over complicated. I like to just think things through and put things on paper. I don't need to write every single little thing that I'm thinking inside my head because it's it's in my head so it's not going anywhere um, so that's totally fine another thing that a lot of people like doing is habit trackers so this is my third habit tracker it's not perfect it's not amazing but it gets the job done so it's very simple you can make it using um, the very simple templates that notion provides you but I have anything from making sure I eat. So that's something that I struggle with. I struggle with eating. Um, I've had disordered eating my whole life. So this keeps me accountable of like, did I eat today? In fact, I just had lunch. So I can mark that down. And I did take my second medication. So boom. Um, today I'm learning <laughs> how to use Loom. That's what I'm using to record this. Um, and I have other things that I need to track throughout the day, but I've been tracking all of my stuff since I want to say July using this new method and it's been working really well. I've been really loving everything that I've been able to accomplish and I feel good about myself because I'm able to accomplish these little things. So 
And I also made one for the week after this, so that way it's all set. So I manually make these every week. And I don't mind making these every week just because um, it just keeps me on track, right? It keeps me motivated. It's like, okay, let's get in the mindset. We got to get into the mindset of taking care of ourselves. Self-care is not just you wake up and you feel better. It's about intentionally doing things to help yourself live a better life. So this is one of my things that I do with intention. What I can also show you is I can also show you uh, my habits that I, which I just showed you, but I meant my positive moments. So my positive moments is basically a very simple list. It's a very simple bullet point. So in fact, I need to make one for this week. So what I do is I just use the week. So October 12th, and I probably will make it 2020 once it becomes 2021, which is kind of overwhelming because I don't know what the world's going to look like in two months. So please, please just be kind to one another, like straight up. Because I, I can't. Wait, 13th, LOL. And then I only have one tag that I really use, positive moments. And then I have simple bullet points. So what are things that I am grateful for? What are things that I'm happy about in this moment? Uh, today I went to the grocery store. So I went to the grocery store and got, got food. That is an accomplishment. And then I date it. So I'll date it today's date. Um, and then once I'm done recording this, this will be another one of my positive moments. I've been wanting to record this video for a long time. So I recorded my notion setup video <laughs> and then i'll also put today's date i can you know use a different command so i can use like at and then i can put like today but i don't really like how it's, it doesn't like highlight it so that's just my personal preference uh so i just like manually doing it yeah and then i also need to put a cover so i usually randomize this i don't um pick one. I just literally remove and let it randomize. See, we, were, we already got that one. So let's remove it and let's randomize again. Ooh, it's being tricky. I also use the, the thought bubble just for cohesion. Cohesion? Don't even know if that's a word. It is what it is. <laughs> here, let's see if there's any cute ones on here. Um... Hmm, I'm thinking. Any cute ones here? Here, let's just put one of New York. Why not? New York City. We will put one. I don't know which bridge this is, but it's a bridge. So <laughs> I'll reposition it so you can see like the arch and the one uh, World Trade Center, which I did visit. Um, it was a very ominous and very um emotional place so if you ever do visit that area just know that it's pretty heavy so what we can do is you can go back to my dashboard all right so i showed you in everything and inspiration these are personal things to myself so i really divide like my personal life my personal growth my work and my passion so i love content creating i've been making content since i was in middle school so I've been making content since I was 12 years old. I am 25 now. So I've been making content for over 13 years and I'm not gonna stop. It makes me so happy to make things. And that's, that's my life, right? Like that's how I give back into this world. And so for work, I have a very simple agenda. A lot of people use like to-do lists and they like try to um, erase things, but I love a checklist. I love a good checklist. So everything has its own tag. Everything has like, whether it's finished or not. Um, I also have relations to like different pages that I have. So I have a lot of different relation notes, which I should probably clean it up, but I'm still learning. I'm still very new. So if anyone knows how to like make better relations, let me know, put it in the comments down below. Um, 
And like today, recording a Notion video. Love it. And the good thing about Notion is every single one of these tabs is its own individual page. So if I go to Notion video, I can go and pull out this whole page. So this whole page is what is Notion? Review my main pages. Uh, what do you want to keep track of? So that's something that's super important. Intention, right? What do you want to do with Notion? How do you want Notion to help you? Because you can't just like go into an app and expect the app to solve all of your problems. You need to give the program, the application, the solution, or like, not the solutions, but I would say give the application as much information as possible so that way you can create solutions within the app and hopefully make your life a little bit less stressful. Um, also, sorry if you can hear the air conditioning. It's hot. It is what it is. Light, that's life. Um, and then I'll also show you a little bit more in depth of a basic template and what to do when you first get started. All right, so I also have these individual pages. So these are all individual. So I don't have a lot going on. My life is, my life kind of plays by ear, right? Like I have a lot doing, I have a lot of stuff. Um, but the good thing about my agenda is I have an archive. And my archive, which I have not set it up properly in a while because I've been kind of lazy, not gonna lie, I've been a little lazy, um, but that's life, right? Sometimes you gotta rest. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting everything in this tab and I love toggle lists. So if I'm just opening a toggle list, I can see everything from that week. So boom, done. And then I can have it all organized in one place. So maybe I need to like go back and I'm like, what did I do on August 2nd? What did I do? Let's look. August 2nd, celebrate my birthday. Yes. Yes, August 2nd was my birthday. I'm a Leo. I, I literally just did that to tell y'all my birthday. So <laughs> if you want to wish me a happy belated birthday, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Um, so that's what that week looked like. So a lot of different people use their agendas in a lot of different ways. So feel free to use whatever method works best for you. So the next thing that I do is I do different meeting notes. So I work for an agency. So I also had my old job here. So this is some of my archive notes from my old job. Some of the personal things that I've been working on. I just went to an info session, session, session at Columbia University, uh, trying to go to grad school. So wish me luck. And these are all my check-in meetings that I have, all the, the meetings. So what I do for my, for my meetings, I actually have templates. So for, for different pages in Notion, you can create templates. And the beauty about templates is it's the same exact format and you can reuse it every single time that you want to use it. So say I need to do personal notes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type here, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna date it, how about Notion Pro Tips? All right, so Notion Pro Tips. Status, we don't need to worry about status. Um, let's see, what we want to do is we want to go, is it a training notes? Is it meeting notes? Is it an interview? So I used to do interviews at my old job. So it's actually just, um, training notes. So what the training notes would do is like, what are the main goals out of the training? What are the things that I'm discussing or they're discussing? And then what are the action items that I'm going to do in my life to implement what I learned? and not just learn information and forget about it. Be intentional, right? It's a very simple list, very simple template. Again, I am a very minimalistic person, so I do not stress the small things like that. And this has been really revolutionary. I've been using this for all of my notes. Um, a lot of my meeting notes, I just, so much, so much I have learned. I've, I have so much access to it and it's all digital. So if I need to look something up really quick and like copy and paste it to like give it to a friend as a resource, boom, I have it all in one place. So that's another really good thing with Notion. Another really good thing that I like doing is I do tarot work. So I am a tarot reader. So these are some of my decks here. I'll go full screen a little bit, a little full screen. So yeah, I have 
my Oracle decks, which are super um, near and dear to my heart. Oracle decks, boom. This one is out of stock, so if you wanted this one, I'm sorry. It's a limited edition, and that's light. I also have tarot cards, so tarot decks. I love cats. I have a cat tattoo, so it's super cute. I really love tarot. Um, and I have a tarot spreadsheet. So I'm thinking of making this a free template for folks to use if they want to utilize it in their practice. Hopefully I have the free template set up in this video. So hopefully there's a link to the free template. Um, but what the free template looks like is there's a difference between a daily entry and a spread. So my spread template um, looks like this. Let me go, sh let me shrink myself. Sh really small. I have different tags. So what type of reading am I doing? Am I doing a daily reading? Is the reading related to my personal life, my work life, uh, my life lessons? I also have items like things that I need for my practice to grow my practice to make sure my practice is sustainable. So say I am doing a daily spread, daily spread, and I'm going to schedule it for Wednesday. I need to do it. So I can either have to do, doing, or done. So the good thing about Notion, they have different properties. So these properties, you can have basic text, you can have numbers, uh, select, so single select, multi-select by date, person, if you have multiple people in your group, and so and so forth, right? So I only use what I need to use. I don't need to overcomplicate things because I don't believe in collecting data for the purpose of collecting data, right? Like I don't need 700 pages of data if I'm really only looking at three things. If I'm only tracking three things, why do I need to um, keep track of 700 things? Life is too short and my time is precious. So I have a call out, so this is a different effect. So if you go to forward slash and you press call out, it will make your writing stand out. So it will just have a little drop shadow, you know, little texture to it. And this call out that I have is really just for intention. Like what is my, what is the purpose? What are my questions? It can be very simple. And then your intentions. What intentions do you want to do with your reading? So let me just boop. And this can be a list. It can be expansive. It can be short. Everything is auto-saved. That's another really good thing about using Notion online. It's auto-saved. If you use the app, you can use Notion using the app offline. And then once you come back to the internet, once you reconnect, it will sync everything. So that is an amazing feature. So that is something that I'm working on. Also, I have inline tables. So inline just basically means um, different things, like different aspects um, inside one page. So this table can be a page in and of itself, but I wanna put this table in the page. So it's inline um, and I can make it as big as I want. And this is specifically for what tarot card? So let me just pull a random tarot card to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So let me just pull a random card from my deck. I don't even know what this card is. All right. All right. We got four of cups. We got some stability work in my relationships, I'm assuming. <laughs> so what I do is I put um, four of cups. That's the name of the card. Now, is it upright? It, was it reverse? Let me know. I don't know if it was. When I read it, it was, I believe it was reverse. So I'm gonna put it as reverse. And then was it a minor card, a major card, or a court card? So this is a minor card. And then what are my connections? So what are the things that I noticed with this card? So I said stability. And if I don't spell things right, like life is too short. Oh, well, like boohoo. I have dyslexia. Go off. 
um, stability. We also have um, connection. I also said relationship building. And then what are my comments of like, do I really need to work on that? What do, what do I feel? Does that resonate with me? And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I, I am trying to, trying to be a better friend, honestly. I reached out to a few friends that live on the East Coast that I haven't talked to in months. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to reach out. Like, fuck it. Like, I have anxiety, but I'm going to reach out. So that's back of the deck energy. Also, if I were to pull any other cards, I'll do the same exact setup for this as well. At the end of my reading, no matter what happens in my reading, I'm going to be grateful for as many things as I am grateful for in that reading. So for this card, I'm grateful to be uh, reassured. I'm grateful for reassurance and support along this journey. So I love to write things, so I tend to like go off on tangents. So you can make this like a one sentence thing, one word thing. It does not have to be super expansive. Um, also, what are the energies? What am I feeling? So when I pulled that card, like I, I felt normal. Like I felt okay. So I mean, I felt, I felt good, good, good vibes, uh, peaceful, oops, <laughs> uh, and relaxed. And then what are my action items? So like I said earlier, what am I going to do with this reading? So I say, um, try to make time to talk to your friends. friends this week. It's Monday, so that's my intention, and I hope to cross it off. So, oh, did I spell another word wrong? Yes, I did. How about that? We good now? <laughs> and so what does it look like filled out, right? It's Leo season. I'm a Leo, so this is what it looks like filled out. This is when I did the, the tarot spread, the tarot reading. This is the tag. This is the status. Leo season, birthday month. That was my intention. So my intentions were, what will Leo season have for me in store? What do I need to focus on? What are the areas of my life? What was the back of the deck energy card that I got? Here are the different cards that I received for that reading. This is what I'm grateful for. This is the energies for the reading. And these are my, my action items. So make digital content. Guess what? I'm doing that. Um, have a live stream. So I do live stream on Twitch. Love it so much. Making connections. I'm meeting so many amazing people on the internet. So the reason why I wanted to show you that is just because it's so important to keep things, right? To store things, to make things accessible for you. And the last thing that I want to show you is my content creation corner. So this is like my bread and butter of my notion. Uh, so I have different boards talking about what I'm working on, hopefully soon, what's in progress, what I've completed, what I've archived. So my archive is technically done, but I'm not showing it. Like, I don't have to see this huge list. Like, what is the reason? What is the reason? Also, I have my calendar. So this calendar is its own individual page. So I linked it. So these are all linked pages. So this page is just showing what is linked. So this is linked. Um, the original database, if I want to click it, can click it and it will make the whole thing just continuously spread. But like me, I'm not really that type of person, right? Like I like to see things for the month and that's it. I don't want to get too, too ahead of myself. I don't want to get too preoccupied. So this was September. So this has my different Twitch things. I have some YouTube things that I'm barely scratching the surface on. Um, and hopefully like this is something that I continue to implement. So today's today. So technically I should have wrote, Hey, we're filming a notion video, but I've been putting this notion video off for so long. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Here, Notion video, and then status, I'm doing it right now, and the priority is high. What type is it? Well, it's going to go on YouTube, and if I need to write any notes for this, I can write it here. 
And so this just organized me in terms of, okay, what am I doing on this day? This day I am doing this. This day I am posting this. So that way I'm not second guessing myself or wondering, what do I have to do today? What's my life? How is it going? Um, and another really great thing that I want to show people is something that you can track for yourself. So my milestones. These are the different milestones in my life. Um, recently, I just started this list uh, back at the end of August. And these things that I'm so proud of, and I don't want to forget these things. So I made a very simple list, master list, and then I also have it filtered by tag. So everything that's tarot will pop up as tarot. Everything that is Instagram will pop up as Instagram. In fact, I need to add a view. So let's add a view for Twitch. So we're going to make it a table. And then what we're going to do, how to make it work is we need to go to here. We need to go to filter. We need to filter by tag. So we're going to go Twitch. We're going to go here. We're going to go filter, add a filter. You can do multiple filters in one group, or you can do individual. Doesn't matter, whatever you're trying to do. Um, so I want to filter everything by Twitch. So now this page, this table, this view will only show you things that happened with Twitch. And again, I just want to know the dates. I want to know what happened and I want to know where. At the end of the day, I hope to look back at this come December 31st and I'm like, you know what? 2020 was a chaotic year, but it was also a year to say, you know, fuck the bullshit. I'm tired. I don't want to live this life anymore. I deserve so much better, so much more out of life. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a huge risk. I'm going to take huge risk, huge sacrifices. But at the end of the day, this is my life. And this is what I'm going to do to make myself happy. So I'm living my best life. I'm a part of a notion group. So that's why I have uh, some alerts going off. So don't worry about that. And so now you're like, wow, that was, o that was overwhelming. Um, where do I start? So YouTube is your best friend. So I say head over to notion. So let's go to notion. Um, just go to notions, YouTube page. They have so many amazing videos. Notions YouTube page has really good, um, templates. They have really good videos. They also have like a template page and a video page on their website. Now, um, it's completely free. And another thing that I wanted to highlight is the template feature. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put templates. Let's see if I can, that's not the right command. <laughs> LOL. I really, I'm very new sometimes to all of this. Um, so if I'm like, hold on, <laughs> wait a minute. I think I got this. Uh, we're going to go here. We're going to make a template. And these are templates that, that are already created in notion. So you have anything from design roadmaps to human resources, job board, application tracker, marketing. You have a content calendar. So this is a very simple content calendar. Um, this is like a different view of it. We also have um, your goals, your journal, blog posts. You can do anything. Resume. I'll show you my resume. <laughs> I need to update it. It's a little outdated. Um, you can do anything and everything. So I suggest using the free templates just to get your, um, your feet wet, just to get used to what Notion can handle, what you can do in Notion, and maybe you can create something super amazing. So the last thing that I want to show you is my resume. So I actually made this resume in Notion using their free um, Notion Resume Builder. So uh, my name is Lunex. <laughs> um, my pronouns, my little title, my education, the video that I worked on in college talking about um, Dream, the Dream Act with DACA and LGBT individuals. Um, so that was something that I did at my university. This is talking about it. This is the YouTube video. I have all my information, which I should probably block out. So I'm going to block that out. <laughs> um, I also have where I've worked, what I've done, 
what I've accomplished throughout my, my journey as a professional, as a working adult. Um, and it's just a better story of who I am, who I am as an employee, but who I am as a person and what do I value. And one of the things you'll notice is I love toggle lists. Toggle lists are my friend. <laughs> so I love using a good toggle list. In fact, let me show you. I have a toggle list here. I have a toggle list here. I have a toggle list here. <laughs> this actually uh, pulls out to an article that I was quoted in. So talking about my work and then another drop down, another toggle list. Um, but all in all, I hope you found this to be useful. If you want to follow me, you can follow me uh, on Twitch, on Twitter, uh, on Instagram. All of my links will be down below. As always, take care. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you need any support. Okay, bye.